Let the mullet shine. Hello. So we're on our way to get a boot for Tisa's broken foot, but you can see by his attire that he is dedicated to going to the gym afterwards. I, I don't think it's leg day. Welcome to Downey Live. In today's episode, I'm gonna teach you what a Kentucky waterfall is and why I'm growing one. I like that. It's nice fun. Nice color, neon. I, I can't argue. It looks good. So, Tease, while you're hobbling along there, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us what happened to your ankle? Well, um, this is burning building. No, no. They were burning tell us building. the real story. Okay. I was at Coltis Lake Water Park, and there was a burning building. No burning buildings. Okay, this is the real one. This, this isn't the story I heard earlier. Next two to six weeks, you're gonna be wearing a sock, or? I'm gonna to get a walking boot. I'm gonna get a walking boot so I can ditch this crutch, ah. and I can do some walking. Step here. <laughs> what is that? It says inflate and deflate. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, they're so, like Air Jordans. <laughs> so you stick this in the hole. Yeah. Ooh. Pump it up so it's tight around your foot. So I since like you it. can feel it and I can't. Alright. Hold that for a second. See. Oh yeah. This is oh good. yeah. Yeah. This is good. No, no crutch required. <laughs> but I'll take it just in case for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> This pharmacy's helped Chuck Norris, Jodie Foster, Tom Arnold. I guess T oh, Tease picked the right spot. Where do those stairs go to? Let's find out. Literally nowhere. Oh. Pick up the pace, I have a haircut to get to, Tease. <laughs> yeah, just because it's in a boot, Tease doesn't mean your angle's fixed now. Still no, I put it Maybe I can go full tilt. Not full tilt. Sorry, not full tilt, full jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? We're just parking here right in front of the barber shop, but it's the small victories in life. You pull up, you park, two empty spots. I happen to choose this one, and there's 40 minutes left already. So a lot of you guys have asked about what is up with my hair. Well, the truth is I'm trying to grow a mullet and everyone asks me why. I guess the truth is I don't really have a reason why. I've always wanted it. I was, you know, too chicken to get it in high school. Same through university. You can't have a mullet when you're trying to get into the workplace. Well, next thing you know, you're 30 years old, you've never had a mullet, and now I really want one. The first place, where do you go to get a mullet haircut? It's pretty much impossible because we don't have them anymore, so no one knows how to cut their hair. What do you mean anymore? Anyway, we don't, we don't <laughs> do have- Do they even exist in the first place? Yes, they had mullets in the 80s. Tease and I, we go to the same hairstylist. I go to him, I say, I want a mullet. So I told him, trim the sides, trim around the ears, you know, whatever you need to do, but don't touch the back. I need to grow it out. First thing he does, shaves the sides, looks good, trims around the ears, excellent, all's going well. Then he's shaving up the side at the back. He's gonna give me a mohawk mullet, like Euro style. Not what I wanted. Can't go back to him anymore. My girlfriend, Nicole, she says, you should come to my stylist. I say, great. She does women's hair. She'll be able to handle the long hair at the back. But she did, no offense if you're watching, but didn't do a great job on my sides. And I said, I wouldn't go back. So Nicole says, okay, I know one other guy. I think he'll be the guy to do it for you. If he can't give you the right mullet, then no one can. He has long hair himself. I'm like, ah, oh, great. I go, tell him I want a mullet, and he immediately goes, Yes! So I'm, <laughs> I'm stoked. I go, this guy knows what he's doing. He goes, what kind of mullet do you want? I didn't know there were different kinds of mullets, but I did know that because he asked that question, I came to the right guy. I kind of describe what I think I want, and he goes, I know what you want. You want the Kentucky Waterfall. I went, <laughs> There's a name for that? He showed me the picture and I was like, that's what I want. The traditional mullet is a crew cut, very short on top and long in the back but I don't want the traditional redneck mullet. I want something more of a modern mullet. So the Kentucky waterfall is left long on top and it waterfalls, it cascades down to the back. I'm still in the growing my hair stage, but it's just getting too messy and too out of hand at this point. So I'm going back to him now, gonna get it cut, see if we can't make it look somewhat reasonable. I think 
I think I'm getting close to long enough. Harvey, can you work your magic? Let the mullet shine. The Kentucky Waterfall. You're welcome. What do you think, buddy? You like it? Do nothing if you like it. And he likes it. You just finished up a new Shanghai barbershop. I did. Harvey just gave you a cut. I did. And let me just say, they treat you so well at the new Shanghai barbershop. If you want, beer in the fridge for you. And then great guys. We played pool while, while we were waiting. So, mm -hmm. great atmosphere. Love it. How do you feel about the haircut? Like your first thoughts after seeing it? Like it's, I'll tell you, it's taller than I expected, but I do love it. It's gonna be, it's a lot of fun, I hope. I'm also hoping to break the stereotype of people with mullets, right? right? I hear ya. I know I'm still not quite there yet. I'm not where I wanna be. It's still a little short. This is a really good start. I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. But we're not there yet. Not so yet, yet. Stay tuned <laughs> for mullet updates. So now that we have Tisa's boot and we've gone, got, got my haircut, what are we doing now? Going to the gym. We're going to the gym. He's got a broken foot. We're going to the gym. He can't even make it to the gym. Hey Tisa, I was thinking we should do a class today. Spin class? What do you think? Nah, Zumba or uh, something really dance related. Tisa actually did a full workout at the gym with his broken leg. It was pretty much a normal workout. Strictly upper body, obviously. The, the best part was watching him hobble on crutches through the gym until he got to the, the machine and then he just like throw down the crutches and sit down, <laughs> pump out chest. He'd grab his crutches and just stand there. And then <laughs> when it was his turn again, he just dropped the crutches, sit down and I was impressed, he's. If you guys aren't subscribed already, consider it. Maybe just press the button down, down below and you can always unsubscribe later. For those of you that are subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. If you've made it to the end of this video, which you have so far, likely means you liked it. Uh, let me know by clicking that like button and otherwise, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Oh, and also leave a comment down below what you think of the Kentucky Waterfall. I really, really want your point of view. What do you guys think? Yay, nay, let me know.